Welcome to the Tracker 4 tutorial series. This is the first session of many guiding you through the different settings and utilities of Tracker 4. In this specific video, we will learn how to customize the layout of Tracker 4 and how to navigate its controls. When you first load Tracker, you will see the default view which consists of four panes. Each pane consists of at least one panel. On the left, you will have the system, calibration, and tracking panels across the top of one pane. In the middle, you'll have the workspace pane. Below the workspace, you have a pane displaying the log. And to the right, you have a pane displaying the system health report. Panels and panes can be configured in a few different ways. To add or remove a panel, click view in the toolbar and check or uncheck the panes you want to have displayed. Panels will open in their default pane. You can learn more about each panel in the general workflow video. You can remove a pane by clicking on the X on the right side of the name of the pane. If you close Tracker, the layout modification you did will remain when you open it back again. If you click on the eye icon on the top right of the screen, you can return to the default screen organization settings. To move a panel into a new pane, Click and drag the pane to bring up the Docking Manager. Dragging a panel into a Docking Manager controls brings up a preview of how the panel will appear. You can either create a new pane by dragging the panel towards the arrow at the left, right, top, and bottom, or you can also decide to combine a panel to a different pane by dragging it to that specific section and selecting the middle square. Within any pane, you can slide or hide the respective panels. You can also make a pane a floating window. Where it slides depends on the location of the pane. To hide the pane, you can click on the slide and hide button on the right side of each pane. Clicking on the panel will open it temporarily. To redock the panel or, set, or a set of panels on the main window, click the dock button. If you have multiple panels within a pane, you can drag to reorder. If you drag a panel off the pane but don't dock it, you can create a new floating pane. Again, however you close the app is how it will open the next time. So this will apply to the views, settings, and parameters. If you have customized your window organization to a specific layout that you would like to reuse, you can save it as a view setting. View settings can really help to streamline your workflow, showing only the specific parts of the app that you want to see at any time. Tracker 4 has a few default settings that showcase the value of a view setting. We've already seen the default layout. The other two have been created to help with calibration and capture data. We encourage you to make use of view settings as part of your workflow. As mentioned earlier in this video, you can always click on the default option to go back to the initial view organization. Within each panel, you can expose its advanced parameters by clicking the wrench icon. The three dots menu will allow you to either set all settings within that section to default or an individual parameter to its default value or state. If you need more insights into any control, hover over for a tooltip. Within a panel, you may also have collapsing sections, for example, in the system health report. The following controls allows you to manipulate the workspace. To translate, hold both left and right side of the mouse. To rotate, left click. To zoom, right click. To change the view within the workspace, use the drop-down menu on the top left. You will get the following options, Camera, 3D View, Object, and Graph Plot. We will go into more depth on the Graph Plot view type in a specific video to it. Within the 3D View, Camera, and Object view, you can expose the view filters to control what you can see in that particular view. 
Most of the filters are self-explanatory. There are also hotkeys available that allow you to quick control. You can get access to those by going into settings and show hotkeys. You can also change a lot of different settings. You can get access to those by going into settings and preferences. You can use the hovering tool to understand better the meaning of each user preferences. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions, you can contact us at support at